morning everybody uh, welcome back to the channel so um, this week we've actually been out and in eager anticipation of a bit of drilling we've been out and uh, mole ploughed this field and uh, this is the uh, site of the famous um, hedge split so here's the hedge uh, poor land this side which is the reason we we're mole plowing and uh, strong land the other side and we are just out now doing a bit of rolling trying to uh, grab the drying off dry opportunity to push the moles back down before we come back with the with the drill so as you can see it's actually despite uh, quite overcast and we've had a dribble this morning but the rolls are still pretty clean and it's quite open where the mole plough has been and after the rolls that's a pretty good job of levelling it out and pushing it down and my hope is that we can just come in with the Claydon now and finish it off uh, plenty of HS2 work going on today as you can see tower crane city um, so we're, that's what we're up to today and uh, unfortunately at the far end of the field the mole plough cut through an obsolete water pipe that I didn't know about because of my father such is the joys of farming off to sort off sort out the water leak so uh, it is Tuesday afternoon we're just in the field uh, Jack's driving we are just um, going through this field, conventional field. We're just giving it a surface movement with a carrier. At the far end of the field, it's a bit green, and I'm a bit worried about these mature black grass plants. So the idea of going through is just to try and get them. Just they've already been sprayed off, but try and pull them out by the roots um, get some air in and hopefully sort of it's already been sprayed but just try and combat the alleopathy whereby the black grass secretes suppressive hormones for the next crop I just want it this, this land's been grazed by sheep it could be a bit tight it could go a bit hard just generate a little bit of surface crumb whilst there's plenty of moisture around little we do need to be a little bit careful that we don't block up block up on the headlands this really is quite marginal but we'll see how it goes that's what I'm looking to just dislodge move get some breakdown in those roots and we're getting a couple of still fixed in the ground but most of it is good ground movement so you've seen that we've managed to cultivate this field and uh, the results are behind you we've had two days of rain since not particularly heavy but uh, light rain and it's had some frost on it this morning so that should really help it break down and really hit the black grass plants hard so that's an encouraging sign drills nearly ready to go we will start next week I think uh, from what I can see the weather forecast is pretty stable for next week so We've got a little bit of a wiring problem with the drill, but once we get past that, I think we'll crack on. Um, we've also had the results through from the deep N testing. Interesting results are much lower than last year. So let me just cut to the office and we'll go through those deep N results. So, as you can see from this video of me soil sampling to depth, it's a physically challenging so when i was offered a deep sampling service to 90 centimeters 
from SOYL, I took the opportunity. However, what I didn't realize was that the service is a soil nitrogen supply SNS service and not the NMIN service that I undertook last year. Therefore, unfortunately, we we can only do a partial comparison between 22 and 23, as you will see. The soil nitrogen supply, SNS, takes our soil mineral nitrogen and the amount of nitrogen already in the crop calculated from Green Area Index, GAI, to calculate your soil nitrogen supply. So, here you can see we have 70 kilos available in the profile, 20 kilos available in the crop, giving a total of 90 kilos per hectare. While the N min then adds on additional available N, N that becomes available through mineralization between the spring and harvest to generate an N min value. In 2022, we had a field deliver 128 kilos of soil mineral N plus a further 100 kilos of additional available N, AAN, giving a total of 228 kilos per hectare. So looking at SNS between the two years, what can we see? Railway appears to have 25 kilos less and this field grew a strong cover crop, but it wasn't grazed. And I wonder if a significant amount of N is bound up in the cover crop residues. Chalkshire, I am really pleased to see an improvement as this is the site of the failed spring oats and late planted spring wheat. So seeing an improvement in soil mineral N is a real bonus. Boswells is some of our lightest land and was the site of last summer's fire. Could the fire have released some additional N? Well, any extra contributions are always welcome. Finally, very little change in B and C and cottages, both of which we would consider some of our strongest fields. Interesting to note that cottages, despite only receiving 40 kilos of N and growing a 5.4 tonnes per hectare crop of spring wheat, has seen no drop in SMN. Pity we don't have 2023 min N min values for comparison. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, Click on the little bell to get notifications of when our next video goes live. See you next time. Bye.